Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. In last time, we have talked ex ex extensive. Ex 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 uh, <laughs> Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. We have talked a lot about gamma function, like gamma function, poly gamma function, reflection formulas, blah 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 in the last time. Today I would like to derive yet another reflection formula, namely the reflection formula for the poly gamma functions. It can be quite a mess if you drag it out even more because we are going to deal with a function which is not easily differentiable all the time so yeah, it's going to result in some weird as fuck polynomial we are just going to derive it in its most general form so a, a really a nice form that you can easily deal with and you can put it into Wolfram Alpha and it's going to spit out the value that you want so um, at first I would like to start off with the regular oh, reflection formula that we know and love by Daddy Euler. Okay, we have talked about this before. And well, how can we get to our digamma function? Where well, at first we can basically take the natural log on both sides. Okay. Then we have the natural log of gamma of z plus the natural log of gamma of 1 minus z being equal to the natural log of this chunk right here. Um, I already tracked it out. So this is going to give us natural log of pi. So that's pretty cool. Natural log of pi. It's probably irrational. I'm pretty certain that it is. Minus the natural log of sine of pi times z. And now we can differentiate both sides to actually get to our digamma function. And the cool thing is we can just differentiate piecewise right here each and every bit with respect to z. Okay, and meaning we are going to get, okay, we know what this is going to result in. This is nothing but the digamma function of z plus, okay, at first we have the digamma function of one minus z times the inner derivative, take the chain rule two times this time, negative one, okay? If we differentiate one minus z with respect to z, it's going to give us negative one. We are going to put it here, being equal to. Okay, this differentiate with respect to z is zero. Cool thing. And now we have to differentiate this thing right here. What is this going to equal to? Um, let me take another chalkboard. Natural log of sine of pi times z. Okay, if we differentiate this thing, at first one over the inner thing. Okay, one over sine of pi times z. Also, now, we are going to take the inner derivative of this thing, leaving us with the cosine of pi times z, and then the even more inner derivative, which is nothing but pi, okay? Meaning this thing right here is the cotangent of pi times z times pi, okay? It's equal to negative the cotangent of pi times z times pi, okay? This right here is actually the reflection formula for our digamma function. But we want to go further, okay? Meaning, this right here is actually the zero polygamma function, and that's the reflection formula for it. Meaning, how can we get, for example, the first degree polygamma function reflection formula well by differentiating both sides once again. Okay, meaning this thing differentiated is just the first polygamma function of z minus this thing right here. Also we have to take the inner derivative once again, negative one, so that's positive one. I'm going to put it like this. This right here was plus negative one to the first power. This thing right here is plus negative one to the second power, okay? Being equal to negative pi times the derivative of the cotangent, okay? <laughs> the derivative of the cotangent is going to result in something 
that's not too trivial and if you differentiate more and more and more it's going to become an absolute mess. There were people who derived the whole thing for that. They were expressing this thing then with a certain class of polynomials. Okay, this is just some polynomial times negative one to, to something times something. Okay, um, it's pretty hard to derive. That's why we are just going to go with this form right here. Meaning if we differentiate once more, we are going to get negative one to the third power in this case, and then the second derivative of the cotangent, blah, blah, blah. A meaning overall. If we take nth derivatives, we are going to get the nth polygamma function of z plus negative 1 to the, okay, on the, on the first derivative we had 2, on the zero of derivative we had 1, meaning this is going to give us um, to the n plus 1th power, and then uh, this is to the nth derivative in this case, 1 minus z being equal to negative pi and this thing right here is going to result in the okay this has been the first derivative this is the first derivative okay also so uh, why did I even think about that so this is going to result in the nth derivative of the cotangent of pi times z and feel free to multiply both sides by negative 1 to the n plus 1 power, for example, I really don't care. But yeah, this right here is basically our um, reflection formula for the nth polygamma function. I know it doesn't look too spectacular, but it is what it is. Sometimes you just don't get a really nice closed form. But I wanted to make a video on it, regardless of it looking nice or not. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel if you like it, if you want to support the channel a bit more by those that I created. Also for another channel on Patreon, up until next video, have a, a polygamma reflection formula. See ya!